most of us have grown up mispronouncing this word as pronunciation. But things have changed now. I don't see anyone mispronouncing it anymore. So great job everyone. Almost everyone has fixed its pronunciation. However, I observed that some people have started to mispronounce the verb form of this word as pronounce. You don't believe me? See for yourself. Why is this happening? My best guess is that the videos that taught us that it's not pronunciation, it's pronunciation, didn't actually tell us why we've been mispronouncing it. So that's why I'm here. We're going to address the root cause and we're going to do it properly this time. So there are many words in English that follow noun versus verb pronunciation difference. For example, we have prefer versus preference. We have declare versus declaration. We have defame versus defamation. But that's not the case here. Here, the pronunciation differs because of the difference in spellings. Let me spell it out for you. It's P-R-O-N-O-U-N-C-E. That's pronounced the verb and. P-R-O-N-U-N-C-I-A-T-I-O-N. That's pronunciation, the noun form. So you must have noticed there's an O missing in the noun form. And that's exactly why it's not pronunciation, it's pronunciation. I mean, if I bring a person who still mispronounces the noun form, and if I ask him to write it down, he will definitely write it with an extra O because that's why he mispronounces it. So going into the pronunciation of these two words in detail, it's pronounce with stress on the second syllable. It's pronounce, not pronounce. It's pronounce, not pronounce. I'm stressing this because I've heard many fluent speakers mispronouncing the verb form as pronounce. It's actually pronounce. And speaking about the noun, it's pronunciation with primary word stress on the fourth syllable and secondary word stress on the second syllable. In simple words, you need to stress the fourth syllable more than the second one. We also have another couple of words which kind of follow the same pattern, which is mispronounce and its noun form mispronunciation. So that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love for you to share your comments under this video because I really want to know what you feel about this. In case you want to know more about the details of the courses that we offer here at English House, click on the link in the description. I'll see you again till then. Bye bye. Take care and get vaccinated. English House. English at your fingertips.